Hey everyone, Mark here. Welcome back to Kelly Plan. So here in our location in the Philippines, we recently had the storm Ambo, the typhoon Ambo, and it got rain on my succulents. So I want to show you how I care for my plants when it is raining. And I wanted also to show you some updates on my plants because of the recent rain. So here are three do's and three don'ts in succulent care when it is raining. Okay, for the first do, do let your established plants some time in the rain. Give them some time in the rain because succulents, unlike what other people think, they like the rain. They like to get water done. And why else would you want to put your succulents in the rain? Because succulents grow in cooler temperatures. Like this bowl of my leaf propagations, they have grown considerably after the rain because of the rain so here is the other one and you can see that they're looking so chubby they're looking so happy and that's because of the rain they absorb more water when it's raining and they grow a lot faster when it is raining so you should allow your succulents your established succulents sometime in the rain now for the first don't don't put your unestablished succulents or your cuttings in the rain. Why? This is an example of why you shouldn't. Here is a arrangement that I recently made. I recently deconstructed an arrangement and I had them placed here. And the rain and the winds blew them away. It uprooted them. Yes, so they don't look so good anymore. And here's also an example of a cutting that got blown off by the wind so you can see that it's not a very established plant it doesn't have much roots that's why it got swept away so you might want to consider your cuttings to avoid getting them in the rain and here is also what you could do if it is raining you could place your succulents in an empty cup yes these are cuttings so you can see it doesn't have much roots yet. So yeah, the leaf fell off. Okay, that's nice. So you can wait for it to root and then you can replant it. And when it's established, like your other plants, like this one, this is an established plant. Then you can give them some time in the rain. Just so they won't be disrupted while they are rooting. Okay, let's go to the second do do give your plants some shelter when it is raining you could probably put them by a window or on the terrace of your house on a balcony or you could also make a house for them a greenhouse or a plant stand if you might or you could also put some cover over them when it is raining why because if it if it rains for too long and their soil doesn't dry out completely then they may be prone to rotting. So you might want to give your plants some shelter when it's raining for too long. Or you can also place them in a greenhouse if you have uh, the money to build a greenhouse. For the second don't, don't put your succulents, place your succulents in a very dark place or indoors in a dark room. Why? If it is raining, as I said before, succulents will grow and they will grow faster than if it is hot. So now if you place them in a dark place and they are actively growing, then they will etiolate. So you can see here the difference. These are both rose cabbages. But this one has its leaves spaced out more apart. So you can see that it's not as compact looking as this one with a tighter rosette, a more compact look. This one has a loose, more loose shape, more loose rosette. So this is due to etulation. It, it, it's been stretching out because it's been placed in the dark. Here is also an example of a plant that's been in the dark. And 
has been actively growing. You can see here that it's been growing it's been growing a longer stem so you can see the leaves are spaced apart so that's etylation now I don't mind this with some of my plants but some other echeverias they might not look as pretty if they are etylated so you want to give them still some light place them in a sunny area in a bright area where they will receive light and they will not etylate as much so don't put them in a dark place okay now for the third do do inspect your plants after the rain you can see here that even though your plants may have the same soil mix so same medium and it, they may be placed in the same location but you can see that they may have been in a very different situation from each other so you can see here I think I potted this to at about the same time but you can see here that the soil is not yet dry it's not yet thoroughly dry but here the soil is very dry so you may think that your succulents are all looking the same all the same all have the same condition but they might not be at the same condition so you want to check them you want also to inspect if there's root uh, I mean if there's rot in your plants if it's rotting you can usually see them here the lower part if it's turning mushy or it has blackened then that's rot and if your leaves are dropping it might have rotten off so you might you would like to inspect your plants after the rain for the third don't don't repot your plants when it is raining or when they got recently rained on why? If you repot them or if you unpot them, um, you will expose their tissue, their stem to wounds. It might be wounded, the roots might be wounded, and if, they, if it's wounded and it got wet, then it might easily get rot. So you would not want to unpot your plants, repot your plants when it is rainy. But if you really need to remove your plant from its pot like this one this is the same plant here this is an echeveria nodulosa so if you really need to remove the plant because you think it might rot you could behead it as you can see here I've cut in this I've cut this stem from here so that this will not rot if you think that the lower part is getting rot so So far, I don't see any rot, rotting in this lower stem, so I might be expecting pups here. But at least I've had the head removed. Now I'll be rooting it and then replanting it when it is no longer rainy. So that's the thing you should avoid. Avoid repotting them. You could try beheading them. Now I've made a video about beheading. You can maybe check out the link on the screen to see how to behead and why you should behead your plants. Okay, now for the bonus do and don't, when you are caring for succulents, do check the weather app regularly. If it recently rained, you might want to check your phone or check Google to see what the weather conditions will be next. So you have time to prepare for them. If they are still wet, then you could try sheltering them the next rain so that it will have time to dry up and don't the last don't that I will share with you is don't worry about your succulent plants they are plants they need water to live now if you got your plants wet if your plants got wet by the rain you could always get a blower like this one or you could blow on it yourself you could blow off the water from the reset to avoid rot and that's the best thing you can do for them and yeah we check them leave them be you see here this plant still has its medium wet but I don't see any rot in there so I don't have to worry about them as much yeah so don't worry about your plants too much let them give them some time in the rain 
So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you like my tips on do's and don'ts when caring for succulents and when it is raining. And I hope that it helps you in your garden and helps me helps you grow succulents more beautifully. Now if you like to see more of my tips, more about my plants, then you can always click at the subscribe button below or on one of the icons here. And also if you want to check my other videos, then you can also click on one of the icons on the side of the screen. So that's it for today's video guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!